uh, to something else that has played out in the last few days, and it is getting a lot of reactions. That is the back and forth between the cabinet secretaries and many who are actually directing their concerns and sentiments to the deputy president, William Ruto. And this has gotten the question as to who they're speaking for, whether they are speaking for or on behalf of the president or on their own accord and of course the lieutenants or associates of the deputy president have had enough of concerns and their own sentiments to air in fact uh, Emor Dikir uh, MP uh, has been arrested today after he reacted to what the uh, cabinet secretary Keriako Tobiko had to say about the deputy president not too long ago and environment cabinet Sec secretary Keriako Tobiko's equating of deputy president William Ruto to a clerk has definitely drawn ire from some quarters with calls for the former director of public prosecutions to either withdraw and apologize or resign. There are also increasing calls for President Uhuru Kenyatta to set his cabinet secretaries straight. But as Olive Burroughs reports, Tobiko is not without his defenders who say it all boils down to the Maasai Mau evictions. Siasa Mbaya, Maisha Mbaya, the late retired president Daniel Toritich Arab Moy famously stated, and there are concerns that as the fissures in government become harder to ignore, with cabinet secretaries now openly taking on the deputy president, government operations could be compromised. <laughs> There is a symbiotic relationship between politics and service delivery. And if, you know, depending on where politics go, it can push uh, service delivery either to the best or to the negative. And now that these personal differences are playing out on the national stage, the public discourse is now focused on these perceived slights. Uyo ni mtu tulichagua bwana wa mama na vijana na wazee waliamka asubuhi na wakaenda kupigia kura Uhuru Kenyatta. Na uwezi ambia sisi ati unaheshimu Uhuru Kenyatta, uheshimu naibu wa rais. The deputy president is the presidency. Nikiti ya rais ambaye iko kwa katiba na sisi wenyewe ndio tulichagua na tungependa kuambia kweli yako tupiko kwamba either you apologize to the presidency or you resign. If you are going to exercise your freedom of speech, then you need to criticize the policy you disagree with, not the individual. As the deputy president and his supporters admonish cabinet secretaries for veering into politics, there are those who view them as lacking any moral authority. I think they, it's, they're hitting both sides, you know, because the deputy sides also is hitting the technocrats. So depending on your individual capacity and personality, when you are really hit, you, not, you need to respond. So it's really become a tantrum of, you know, exchange of words, which is becoming very personal and very, very less technical. Tobiko is a son of this soil, and he has his own tribe that is called the Maasai. Any time Murkomen just goes on on the field and abuse everybody on the road shows, should be halted. Ushungu wa Morkomen, ushungu wa Ngeno, ushungu wa mtu mwingine yote yule kutoka upande huo ni kwa sababu watu kutolewa katika Masai Mao Forest. The deputy president accused of dragging the very technocrats he now says should stay out of politics through the mud. As things heat up in his kitchen cabinet, should we expect President Kenyatta to clear the air on just who effectively is his second in command? I don't expect Uhuru to respond to that kind of what, what's been going on the last five days about who is who's secretary. It's a bit too cheap for, 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 for the development politics that we require in this country. Or has he already said everything he needs to say in his silence? Olive Burrows. And TV.